It's like if investors have uh, removed their sunglasses um, and, uh, and, and see some clouds in, in the sky. Gilles, firstly, what is your opinion on equities in relation to other asset classes? Well, when we look at equities, um, their expected return over the long term, I would say we're not enthusiastic. Um, earnings growth is, um, is quite low, um, valuations are, are quite high, um, so th the expected returns um, are, are very low. That said, in relationship to other asset classes like fixed income, it's still much higher. But it comes uh, with a risk, so equities are quite volatile and we need to take that into account. So when we calculate the reward ratio between risk and return, well, it's not really in favor of, of, of equities at the moment. That said, it is central in our asset allocation. We do like equities, but we are cautious. That we, it means that we are uh, underweight uh, equities at the moment. And so what do you expect from US equities in the coming months? Well, for US equities, um, just looking at um, the, the last few days, uh, where we've seen a lot of volatility, um, we feel like it's um, it's um, a wake-up call, actually. It's like if investors have uh, removed their sunglasses um, and, uh, and, and see some clouds in, in the sky. So it seems the market has started to adjust a little bit. Um, during the summer, we've had very nice performance of plus 10-15% um, since uh, the Brexit vote, actually. Um, and uh, it turns out like, like if risks were just ignored. Uh, and risks are here, you know, Fed policy, um, um, US, um, well, the, the equity valuations that are quite high. Um, then we have the US elections, of course. Um, and it seems that they were ignored by the market. So I, would not, I wouldn't be too surprised if we had an adjustment uh, to reflect those risks and some sort of a healthy correction in the coming weeks. Um, now, regionally speaking, we still prefer US equities over European ones or Japanese ones. Fundamentals are better and uh, the technical picture is also more attractive in the US. Okay, so taking that on board, what is your investment scenario? Well, our investment scenario, probably you've guessed by my answers, we're quite cautious. Um, our investment scenario is that we are quite late in the economic cycle. When you look at corporate profits, probably they have peaked last quarter of 2014. Um, the yield curve is quite flat, um, valuations are high. So it's a lot of indicators that point to um, uh, a late cycle. We don't know whether uh, and when there will be a recession, of course. But with these indicators in mind, we have to be cautious. Um, so uh, our, our asset allocation is prudent and we recommend to be widely diversified in portfolios across equities, fixed income, hedge funds, commodities and, and real estate. Well, Gilles, thank you so much for coming and sharing your insight with us today. Welcome. That's all from myself and Gilles, but if you like this interview, be sure to give it a like and comment on our website, dukascopy.tv.